Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm here today with Daniel, one of my patients. Daniel had an operation on his nose just over a month ago. Is that right? Is that right? And uh, we're here to, to discuss and talk with Daniel in terms of what, what his um, impressions have been so far. Uh, and what has been what his post-operative recovery has also been just get a little bit of feedback a little bit of insight because it's always useful for patients particularly ones who are contemplating this type of surgery to know and understand what it's like to go through an operation like this and sure I could sit here and talk to you you know and, and until your heart's content but until you hear from somebody who's actually been through it it's a totally different matter so we're here we're, we're grateful we, for, for Daniel for, for sharing his experiences uh, with us today but uh, yeah, Daniel, so it's been a month, month right? Um, yeah, you're looking great. And, and this is the thing, I, 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 yeah, a lot of times I say to patients that, you know, who come like, like yourself who are looking so good, it's that you, know, you come in through the door and somebody who's never met you before doesn't think there's something taking place. I mean, you look normal by all accounts, I mean, right? I do, I feel great. It's, it's been a month now, I was really nervous before. Mm. I mean, after the operation, it all gets better. Mm. Surprisingly, no pain. Right, I okay. Have no yeah. pain, yeah. which I feel yeah. I have a lot of pain. Yeah. Um, and I, I do feel good, my confidence has gone up. Mm -hmm. and. I'm excited to see the, the, the results in the yeah. months to come. Well, that, that, that's right, because I mean, although you know, at the moment you don't have any sort of obvious you know, swelling, meaning you know, no obvious bruising or, or, or gross swelling, sure, there's an element of subtle swelling present, which is going to take you know, a good six to nine months from here on in to completely dissipate. But you know, it's looking great already. Uh, your, your shape is starting to come through. The new shape is coming and starting to come no, through. And I'm especially now to the camera like well, this yeah, so you yeah. can see the Well, side. exactly, exactly. You can see the profile. <laughs> I yeah. would never do that before. Well, that, that's the thing is that a lot of people are really conscious about their profile. Sure. And you, know, you, they, you, you, you see them and they tell you, listen, there's traffic lights. I hate to look at people sideways because I'm just conscious they're looking at my profile all the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at you now, and uh, you know, sorry, forgive me. I just wanted to have a look. I mean, there's a very subtle amount of swelling just on the front here, on the left side, okay. But you know what? It's looking great, and your profile is wonderfully straight here because you had quite a bit of excess length in the nose, which I think was was, was making your nose a little bit too dominant. So I think from that point of view, I think we've, we've, we've done some, some good work for, for Daniel. I mean, I always say to people, it's a team effort. You know, I do the surgery, but I also I rely on the material that, that, that I have to work with. And, sure. and, and, and you know, obviously, in his case, everything did come together the way we wanted to. Um, but you also mentioned you, so you didn't have much pain with the whole thing. No, I couldn't really believe it. And when I, when I researched it before a little bit, I thought mm. when I wake up, I'll be in pain. Mm. I actually, a few hours after the operation, I had to get the nurse in and I said to her, what painkillers did you give me? Yes. I'm not feeling any pain. Yeah. And she said to me, Daniel, you will feel, you should feel no pain. No, no. And I was in shock. I, yeah. For me, it was fantastic. Yeah. Even when I had the cast yeah. for seven days, yeah. it was no pain. Well, they, uh, a lot of that actually reflects with a lot of other patients that say to me as well, because they say apart from perhaps the first two hours when they wake up, when they feel a bit of a heavy, dull sensation on their nose, after that, they say, you know what? I hardly took any painkillers. So obviously what, what, what Daniel is saying it, it me, reflects that. I was that. indoors for seven yeah. days. Um, I was eating normal, everything mm. was normal. The cast, I was scared looking in the mirror a little yes, bit because yes. of the cast. It's very like full on, isn't it? Very full on that cast, but I know. When, when I came here back to London and they took the cast off, I was really happy. I seen that the mm. nose was straight, mm. not that I'm an expert. Yeah, I yeah. seen that the line was there straight. There was a difference, anyway. There's a big a huge difference. difference. difference there, exactly. If you look at the before yeah, and after, yeah, yeah. It's, no, uh, absolutely. it's amazing. Even my own mother was at war. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize your nose was like that. No, <laughs> So tell me, what was the worst bit of the whole thing? I'm, I get really nervous. Yeah. So before the operation, I mean, when I had my blood test done, I fainted. No. <laughs> that, that wasn't even part of the operation, was no, it really? No. Um, and before the operation, I mean, your staff are fantastic. Mm. They made me feel really relaxed and well, calm. Well, I the think nurses they all try. Because, I know you that, know, yeah. before the, a few hours yes. before the operation, yes. you think, what's happening? Where is the yes. doctor? A lot of things go through your mind. Mm. And the staff made sure I was relaxed. Yeah. And that was the main thing. Sure. It was really the... the, the the scareness of the operation. Mm. And what, what, yeah, the anticipation maybe, correct, what, 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 what you were going to go through. And what, what would it be, what happens mm. if it's a mistake, mm. Mm. Uh, amazing. Well, amazing. I, I think a lot of that reflects what every person is worried about when they, when they, when they have any surgery. You know, everybody wants, you know, particularly if it's on your face, you, you don't want things to go wrong, right? You want an operation that's going to be successful, it's going to live up to your expectations. And that's always the hardest thing, you know, for people to, to to really sort of uh, you know uh, understand whether it's going to happen or not. 
Uh, but going back to what I asked you about the worst thing about you know, the hopes, you know, what about the packs? You had some packs in the nose as well, because a lot of oh, patients, right. a lot of patients <laughs> say that was the worst thing. Because we always put some packs yes, in when you pull I them tell out. You, actually, I can tell you exactly what was my my worst experience is when the nurse taking the packs. Out. Yeah, yeah. And because when she takes out, you don't know what's gonna no. happen. So you, I didn't even breathe. I just no. waited, and she just took the tweezers yeah, yeah. and she took Pulls them out. Them out yeah. It was all okay. I know, I know. You know, but it, again, yeah, that again, was. I would say that's. The, yeah, the, I know it's great, the and then and then and then of course it does start to bleed a little bit when they take the packs out. Yeah. So you know people panic at that point, but you know it's all par for the course. And of course we do explain that to, to patients beforehand. But you know sometimes it goes way over your head. You know whatever we say to patients, they say yeah 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 in the consultation, and then afterwards they say did you ask did you tell me that? You know. So, <laughs> Even but, when I went home, the nurses gave me mm, all the stuff yeah, that you need, yeah. and they made sure I didn't yeah. run out. Yeah. And yeah, it's a good experience, yeah. Yeah. you know, and I would highly recommend if mm. you're paranoid about yeah. your noise yeah. and you don't, you don't feel confident, mm. Yeah. Do it. Really. Well, no, I mean, I can, I can only recommend. And I was really nervous before. I, mean, I, I think it helps you turn a new leaf in your life because you know it the is. moment you have something that's been on your mind, something that's been holding you back, you know, you get rid of that, then you can move on, and you know that that's not an issue anymore. So from that point of view, I think I think it's worthwhile. But yeah, you know, you're looking great at, at at one month. At one month, honestly, you're looking great. But I know, I, I think I already explained to you, you still have a lot more in front of you in terms of improvement wise. And I always tell people at a month. You probably got about 25, 30 percent swelling, and that swelling that you see here, although it's not evident to the, you know, the common sort of you know, person who looks at it, there is some swelling certainly in the width here, and that's going to shrink in quite considerably. So the nose is going to look narrower, the profile is going to refine even more. But you know he's got more to look forward to, and you know this this is uh, you know the, the, the great thing about it. But at this point. I really can't fault it. I mean, it's it's looking as good as I can expect it to look like. So um, I think that uh, you know you, 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 you've done really well. Thank you. So fantastic. But listen, we'll keep a close eye on things. We'll follow you up again in the clinic, um, and uh, you know we'll just witness the 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 the, the, the metamorphosis, the change in, in the nose. I'm looking forward. All right. To it. I'm really great. To great. It. Thank you. Lovely. <laughs> good to see you. All right. Thank you. So thank you very much, everybody. I hope that you found that a little bit helpful. Um, as I said, a little bit of insight is always useful for patients who are, who are you know, wanting or contemplating this surgery. So I hope you found this useful for you.